Here is the latest African news update. Indian company ordered to pay 12 million US dollars for poisoning Kenyans. A Kenyan community whose children and residents were sickened by lead from a battery smelting plant has been awarded 12 million, that is 1.3 billion Kenya shillings following a civil lawsuit. The Kenyan court ordered the government to clean up Owino Uhuru, a village on the outskirts of Mombasa, within four months and has given the relevant agencies 90 days to pay out the compensation money. In 2017, the Indian company Metal Refinery EPZ Limited began its operation of recycling lead from all-use lead-acid car batteries in Owino Uhuru, an informal settlement in Kenya, Mombasa. The ruling comes after years of grassroots work by environmentalist activist Phyllis Omindo, who launched a legal challenge against the government and the smelting plant owners, accusing them of violating a Kenyan environmental and human rights law exposing the community to lead poisoning. And unfortunately, it's about the most vulnerable of human beings, those that cannot even voice out the, the issues that they are dealing with in their communities. She kick-started years of grassroots demonstration for the factory's closure and investigation into the residents' allegation of health problems caused by the smelting factory's activities. The company later shut down in 2014, eight years after it began operation near the village and only when Kenyans made the exploration of scrap metal illegal. Dozens of residents tested positive following a 2015 assessment by the government in some tests conducted showed blood lead levels that were deemed dangerous by the Kenyan Centers for Disease Control. Her campaign through the Center for Justice, Governance and Environmental Action was founded in 2014 to tackle environmental abuses in Kenya and has led to the shutting down of at least 10 toxic waste melters in the East African country. The activist says there's still more work to be done. Omindo said hundreds of children suspected to have been impacted by the presence of toxic smelters in the village are yet to be tested, according to the organization's assessment. If you like informative and educational videos on Africa, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to catch all our latest videos. And please feel free to leave your suggestions, news tips, or topics about Africa you'd like us to cover.